All right, it's Wednesday reading, and we are in our focus book again, and we're on pages 18 and 19. We're going to read how to catch a coin from your elbow. Read these directions for doing a fun trick. As you read, pay attention to the order in which things happen or are done. Look for clue words. Okay, this is easy to perform trick. Looks impressive and is enjoyable too. Here's how you perform the trick. What you need. Some coins. Directions. One. First, bend your elbow so that your elbow sticks out in front of you. Next, balance a coin on your elbow. At the same time, cup your hand near your ear. You will have to keep your elbow straight enough to prevent the coin from falling off. Two. Now you're going to catch a coin. To catch the coin with the hand on the same arm that is holding the coin. How can you accomplish this? It's easy. In one sudden, very rapid movement, drop your elbow down away from the coin. This movement will also pull your hand up past your ear and then down. As your hand comes down, open your palm and snatch the coin out of the air. This trick sounds difficult. But if you practice, you will get the hang of it very quickly. Once you master the technique, you can impress and dazzle your family, friends, and schoolmates. How this trick works. When you drop your elbow away from the coin, the coin does not move at first. Eventually, gravity pulls the coin down. But at first, the coin res resists the pull of gravity. An object at rest tends to remain at rest. This rule has a scientific name, inertia. Your hand, which is already moving, is faster than the coin. With a little practice, your hand can snatch the coin in midair. Try more coins. Now that you have learned to catch one coin in the air, try catching more than one. First, stack a second coin on top of the first on your elbow. Practice catching these two coins until you become skilled at the task. Then, stack three or four coins on your elbow. With a little practice, you will find that it is not much harder to catch four coins than it is to catch one. Try more than coins. Now think about some objects other than coins that you can catch from your elbow and try catching these objects too. There, are they easier or harder to catch than coins? What role do you think inertia plays in your ability to catch these objects? Man, if you guys try that at home, you'll have to let me know how it goes. Let's answer these four questions. Remember when we're done answering the questions here, you can pause it, write it down, and then we're going to fill it out in our Google form. Number one, clues that signal the order of steps following the heading directions are months, seasons, times of days, or numbers. Go back in the story, look under directions, and see which signal order the steps. Okay, two, after you drop your elbow down from the coin, what do you what do you do next? So as soon as you drop down your elbow from the coin, you gotta figure out what to do. Go back in the text and look. Is it practice, practice, practice? B cup your hand next to your ear. C snatch the coin with your hand. Or D keep your arm parallel to the floor. Go back and find out when we drop our elbow down from the coin and look what we do next. All right, we're supposed to drop it down. So, oh, and then one sudden very rapid movement. Drop your elbow down away from the coin. Then it tells you about the movement. As your hand comes down, open your palm and snatch the coin out of the air. So, figure out which one you do after you drop your elbow down from the coin. Number three. What is the first thing that the directions explain? A. 
where to cup your hand, B, how to snatch the coin, C, how to hold your elbow, or D, how to catch more than one coin. So make sure you go back to directions and find the first thing that it explains. So here's directions. Find the first thing that it explains how to do. Okay, four. Look at the information under the next to last heading, try more coins. Which of these is discussed last? So you need to go back to try more coins and find out what is discussed last. A, how to catch objects other than coins. B, how to catch three or four coins. C, how to catch one or two coins. And or D, how to snatch a coin from midair. So go back to try more coins and figure out the last thing that it talks about in this section. Remember, you can always pause the video or come back to it later. Question five. This is your short answer. You've got to restate, answer, and prove from the text. Tell what to do if you want to learn to catch more than one coin at a time. Put things in the right order and use clue words. So you would go back in your text and figure out where it's talking about more than one coin. Use clue words as you write it to put them in the right order. You can use words like first, next, and last, or one, two, and three. All right, when you're done, you're going to go to Wednesday's reading. You're going to fill out the Google form that goes along with our story, How to Catch a Coin from Your Elbow. And if you need to go back and look at the story, you click on this and go to pages 18 and 19, or you can bring the video back up.